Welcome back, everyone. Are you doing everything you can to prepare your children for a lifetime of financial success? Isn't that the dream? Live a lifetime of financial success? Well, it turns out that BC parents are far less likely to teach their children about money, budgeting, and saving. Ian Thomas from Coast Capital is here to tell us more. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, Carrie. So exciting when you get that first piggy bank, isn't it? It is. But, you know, a recent national survey found that uh, BC kids are saving. Uh, fewer BC kids are saving money each month compared to the rest of the country. So what can parents do to encourage their kids to save? Well, I think that's, I mean, I think every parent wants their children to, to grow up to be, uh, you know, sort of good with money, uh, good savers, responsible spenders. And But it's a habit that gets formed over time. And so you just can't say, okay, be good with money. So it's something that you really have to start at a young age. Uh, and reinforce that, uh, you know, starting with a with a bank account, uh, a piggy bank, you know, at, at the younger ages, mm -hmm. bank account as they get older, and just create that habit of going to uh, and, and depositing money, whether it's birthday money, uh, doing from chores, Christmas, whatever that is, and, and almost the dollar amounts become secondary. It's the habit of going and saying, oh. I've got some money, I'm going to go put some into my account and watch it grow. Because all of a sudden they're like, hey, it used to be here, now it's here, and then how, how big can I make this? Or Learning about the value of it. Exactly. So this is interesting, an interesting statistic. Parents in this province are half as likely to involve their children in money management decisions. So what are the benefits of sharing some of those decisions and goals with your children? Well, I think that it's, first of all, it helps them to understand that this isn't rules that apply to them and not to anybody else. So when they say, well, here's what uh, we as parents are doing, this is something that we're saving for, these are the trade-offs that we're making, they say, okay, well, I understand that it, it applies to me at 10, it applies to me at however old you are, and, you know, sort of forward in into our 40s and sort of say, hey, we, we'd love to go out for dinner, but we're making a trade-off because we're, we're planning for that vacation or, or whatever it is we're doing. So the kids go, oh, okay, this, this applies and I understand I can't get everything that I want, my parents can't get everything that they want, and so we've got to make choices. Uh, looking towards that end game, I guess, that goal. Exactly. Uh, so there are challenge when it, challenges when it comes to finances and meeting goals. How much guidance is needed to help your child through some of those hard times? Well, I think sometimes you've got to let the kids make mistakes. And, you know, as a parent, and I think this is probably my, my biggest challenge, is to, especially uh, because you want your kids to have, you know, good stuff. You want uh, your kids to, uh, especially in the dollar amounts on it was big, and, oh, it's only $2 or $5. But you've got to let them say, you know what, you didn't do your chores, you don't get your allowance, or you decided to spend your money on the video game, and now you don't have enough money to buy your bike or your clothes or whatever it is that they're wanting and uh, is to let them go through that because it happens in life as you get older that just yeah. the dollars and the numbers get bigger. You gotta work for your money kids, you gotta work for it. Uh, do you know what I went through? <laughs> <laughs> I have to walk two miles to get there, too, in snow. Exactly. Uh, okay, we won't go there. But uh, yeah. let's talk about traditional savings accounts, because yeah. they do have relatively low interest rates. Is it worth investing <clears throat> in other products to help your kids save? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's hard for kids to get excited. If they only have a, you know, a, a few hundred dollars to get started, that interest is there, but it's a few, a few cents. Um, institutions, you know, we think uh, have an opportunity to be a bit creative in how we do it. It's one of the reasons Coast Capital Savings, along with a few other credit unions across the country, have formed together to create this thing called the humanomics uh, program and uh, essentially putting humans first into the economics piece uh, and one of the first uh, initiatives that we've launched in there is a youth savings account so it's a savings account just like any other one it pays a higher rate of interest than the typical high interest savings account and the cool part in terms of helping encourage uh, long-term savings is over a three-year period those those kids can earn up to $125 in free money so it's not interest it's extra bonus cash for hitting their savings goals uh, so right now it, it's a limited time it's between now and June 13th and right now it's for ages 11 and 12 okay yeah right and right when they should be learning the value of a dollar that's when they start to understand the uh, compound interest uh, you know sort of uh, delayed gratification towards savings and things like that. So, yeah, 11 to 12, um, and from now to June 13th, stop by Nico's Capital. Sounds good. Thanks yeah. for that, Ian. Appreciate Thanks, you coming Gary. in. For more of Ian's financial advice and great tips on getting your kids to save, head to our website, ctvmorninglive.ca. And over to you. Perfect. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks.